What's up everybody? It's your girl Kitty Cat and we are back with another video. A tea time, story time, bedtime story. I love doing these story time videos. They're so fun. I make some tea and then, you know, I just start talking, all right? This tea time, this story time goes down in the summertime. This particular summer, I was a young girl. I was a young kitty cat. I was 14 and you know when you're 14, you really can't get a job anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like even at 16, it's hard to get a job somewhere these days. I think when you're 14, literally the only place you can actually work, I think is Chick-fil-A. What I was doing at 14, and I think what probably a lot of 14 year olds do is babysit. I was a babysitter. I didn't babysit like every Friday night or anything like that, but if there was somebody I knew that had kids and they were going out for date night, girls night, whatever, I was like, call me, text me something i'll come over because i mean when you're 14 yeah you want to make extra money so there was this family that i used to babysit for they didn't live far from my house like literally walking distance so anytime the parents wanted to you know go have a date or go to a show or whatever i would go babysit and i loved it so this couple that i babysat for they had three kids so two of those kids the oldest kids were the dad's kids from another relationship and their third child, the baby, was the, the mom and dad that I babysat for. That was their kid. So three kids all together. And I normally always babysat all three of them. And we always have fun. But this night was a little bit different. A lot of things about this night were a little bit different. This night, on this night, the two oldest kids, they were spending the weekend with their mother. So it was just me and the baby. Now, it wasn't like a baby baby, like a newborn. But the baby, you know, he was like, I think he was like two or something like that, one or two years old, like really small. So I was like, oh, this night of babysitting is gonna be so easy because the baby's already sleeping. You know, the baby was sleeping when I got there. So it was like, okay, all I gotta do is literally make sure the baby stays alive and just chill. You know, I'm like watching the house, you know? So I was watching like MTV. I was texting on my friends, selfie, nah, nah, nah. Just a regular like Friday night. Nothing crazy. The next part of this story that's important to know is that this family had a dog. You know, they had that family dog. It was one of those big dogs. The dog, you know, normally when I babysit, the dog would spend a lot of time inside, like, you know, playing with the kids and, you know, just, just being there, doing dog things. On this night, I noticed the dog was outside a lot more. And when it would come back in, it was like crying and just, you know, like only chilling behind the couch like just not like just being weird you know the dog normally always would like come say what's up to me and say hi and like want me to like pet it a little bit but on this night the dog was just being super standoffish like just you know was just being weird like whimpering and just kind of acting strange and I was like what's wrong doggy you know what's going on and they had a doggy door so the dog was just going in and out throughout the night and I was like Okay, weird, but there was a long period of time that the dog was outside. The night's carrying on, you know, it's getting later and later. You know, the time that the parents are supposed to come back is coming soon. I'm expecting it. And then I start smelling this odor. It was very pungent. It was like, it was just something that I couldn't really put my finger on though. Like it was something that just smelled like a gas. You know, and I'm at this point, I'm 14. You know, I haven't smelled, I've smelled a lot in my life, but you know what I'm saying. At 14, I haven't smelled everything, you know. So I'm like, it smells kind of like a gas. I, di I didn't pass gas. It wasn't like a pass gas gas. It was like, like a gas, like a gas leak maybe. That was like what I thought I was smelling in my, in my 14 year old, you know, mucus membranes. So I was like, this smell is strong and it lasted a while I called my mom and I was like mom like this house is starting to really smell funky like there's an odor here there's something wrong I don't I think I'm really scared because I'm afraid because I'm here babysitting this baby and I don't know what to do like is this a gas leak I don't know what's going on y'all know me so dramatic. So I'm all dramatic calling my mom like, oh my gosh, like what's going on? Like it smells like gas here. And my parents were like, well, you know, if it was a gas leak, you know, and it's been smelling like that for a while, you probably would have, you know, been dead or something by now. You know how parents are. They're like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. You're going to be fine. And I'm just like, all right. That's what everybody says. Everybody says we're going to be fine. Okay, whatever. Mm. This tea is so good. Oh my goodness. It gets later and the parents finally come home. Okay. 
The parents finally come home and I'm like, oh, relieved. I'm, I can get out of here because I don't know what is going on. This place smells weird. The mom comes in and she gives me my money, but she, you could tell she's kind of drunk. So I don't think she noticed that the house had a different kind of smell and that like something was off. She just gave me my cash and was just like, here, thank you so much for babysitting and we'll call you again soon, girl. And I was like, okay, thank you so much. I had a good time. La -di -da -di -da. Her husband drives me home. And I mean, he didn't say I smelled or anything, but I mean, come on, like if you're a grown man, you're not gonna tell a 14 year old girl that she smells weird. I get into my, my mom's house and my mom smelled it right away. She was like, mm, ooh, girl, like, what is that smell? And then she got closer to me and she was like, ooh, it was, that's a skunk smell. And I was like, what? How could this be a skunk smell? Like, a, this doesn't smell like a skunk. And she was like, well, that's what you smell like, girl. You smell like a skunk. That's what you smell like. And then I was like, oh my gosh. I started to put two and two together. I was like, oh my gosh, the dog probably was outside got sprayed then was coming in and out of the house and because like a skunk smell is strong like it is pfft, strong and skunks can shoot like 10 feet of and like the stuff that comes out of them it's not like a spray it's not a mist it is like a full-on like squirt like a windex squirt but not the mist setting like the one that squirts that is how 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 it comes out that's what it's like but we all know a skunk smell is very strong even though i wasn't directly sprayed by the skunk the dog was that dog was bringing the odor in and out of the house you know rubbing himself on the couch he kind of i think he even rubbed himself on me at one point you know and it's just like what the heck is going on so i'm freaking out because i'm like oh my gosh like i smell and i start high school in a few days i cannot start high school being that girl who smells like a skunk so my mom was like oh girl you need to just get in the shower just get in the bathroom like am I, i'm like crying i'm like oh my god i don't want to stink i don't want to be that girl at school that stinks because we all know that person and that's cool that stinks i was like oh we need to get like a tomato juice we need to do this we need to do that because that's what you know you always hear that like if you get sprayed by a skunk or something skunk happens get some tomato juice or you know so i'm like googling like what we should do my mom is like girl i'm not gonna ask you again get into the shower please get into the bathroom and my mother being the angel that she is she had this shower gel from Lush. It was like some lemon citrus based shower gel. And she was like, here, try this. It's citrus. Maybe it can cut through the smell. And so I used that to like wash my body and to wash my hair. And I did not smell like skunk anymore. So that was another relief. But my clothes, mm, my poor clothes. I never wore those again. I put them out in the garage to air them out. And they aired out after a few days. But I was like, these have bad memories now. This holds bad energy, bad juju. I don't want these clothes. My mom told me later on that she had called that couple to like just be like, hey, just so you know, um, I think maybe your dog might have gotten sprayed by a skunk. Catherine came home smelling like a skunk. And they were like, yeah, we noticed it as soon as we came home that the dog was acting weird and we noticed the dog got sprayed and we think it might've gotten there in the dog's eyes. So then that kind of made sense of like why the dog was whimpering or who knows, I mean, I'd be whimpering if I got sprayed by a skunk too. Nonetheless, it was kind of crazy and not what you normally would expect from babysitting a baby. No, you know what I mean? That's always what you think. I was like, this is just too good to be true of a night. Both kids are out one of them sleeping i'm just chilling of course the dog had to get sprayed by a skunk of course so ever since then i have like this phobia of skunks they are my least favorite animal i want nothing to do with the nighttime animals the skunks the raccoons the foxes the coyotes i want nothing to do with the nighttime animals and i have been so afraid of skunks ever since well y'all i hope that you enjoyed that quick fun story time do you have any animals that you are afraid of let me know what happened down in the comments below oh also since you made it all the way here to the end i appreciate you just want to let that be known i appreciate you why don't you just like comment i'd love to talk with you subscribe so that you could come again and you'll never miss out on anything oh yeah hit the bell all that great stuff thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye That was so fun.